My name is Neil Malik from Knack Trading, and in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to use Adobe Acrobat to create a watermark on PDFs. In July, I'll be heading to New Orleans to conduct a couple of sessions at the IAAP Summit for 2017. One of my sessions is called Perfect PDFs in Adobe Acrobat. And as part of that, what I want to do is make sure that you can create the same headers, the same footers, the same watermarks, the same file size options, etc. So in today's video, I'm going to create a watermark and then I'm going to be able to apply that same watermark over and over again. So as you can see here, I've got a couple of PDFs open, an Outlook handout, as well as sort of a dummy document here. I'll go to my Outlook handout, and I want to edit this file. So I'll go over here to the right side of my screen and uh, expand this panel and click on to Edit PDF. Now, when the edit toolbar shows up at the top of my screen, one of those uh, options that you can find pretty quickly is the watermark option. And I click on watermark and just choose add. Now, a watermark is something that typically you want to cover up some bit of your content so that people can't print it perfectly or at least so they know what's happening with this document. Now, the first thing you'll see when you get over to your watermark area is that you can move to a different page to see how this watermark would show up. So here I'll go to page number three for my watermark and just take a look at what my watermark would end up looking like. Now you can use images and things like that, but typically I just go to the text box right here and put in something like uh, maybe all caps draft and then hit enter internal use only. Okay, and uh, then what I'll do is I'll change the font to something a bit bolder and in my mind when we use uh, text that's the same level and the same setup as the rest of the text on the page, it can really easily sort of blur the lines here. So I'm going to go ahead and change the rotation to, let's say, 45 degrees here. Maybe center it. And then I'll also increase the scale relative to the page here. So maybe push this up to 75% of the page. There we go. Now, this perfect black on top of it definitely keeps you from being able to print it accurately, but it's also just a little bit too aggressive, I think. So maybe I'll change the opacity down to about 60%. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, whatever choices you decide to make, you can, again, bring in an image, you can uh, use different fonts and sizes, etc., etc. But ultimately, when you finish this process, there's something that you should really pay attention to, and that is up at the top of the screen, it says that these are not saved settings. They are custom settings not saved yet. And over here on the right, I can choose to save these settings. So chances are good that I'm going to create a draft document, you know, maybe once a month, maybe twice a week, you know, whatever spacing your documents have, you're going to be reapplying the same basic look over and over again. So why not save it? So I'll click on save settings here and I'll call this one something like default corporate watermark and hit OK. And now when I click OK, of course, I'll be applying that watermark to these pages of this handout. But also when I go over to my second tab, this other PDF I've got open, I might want to apply the same watermark here and watch how easy this is now. I go over here to the right side of my screen, click the little pop out and choose edit PDF. And now under watermark, I'm going to go to add. And instead of taking the time to really figure out what this watermark should look like, all I've got to do is hit the drop down menu up in the top left hand corner and go to my default corporate watermark. And that same font, the same scale, the same opacity, everything can be applied to this document as well. And there it is. So definitely take the time to create a beautiful watermark, a watermark that really works for your purposes, and then make sure that you save those settings.